Hello, so today I thought I would talk to you about how to put on these. So today I thought I would talk you through and demonstrate the two different gloving techniques that are used for surgery. So there is open gloving, which is used for or used by farm vets and vets that are out on the road that don't have everything that would be available to them in a hospital. And then there is closed gloving when your animal comes in for a major operation and you want everything to be 110% as clean as can be so that no little bits of bacteria or nasty little viruses um, can get in and infect that wound and cause problems. Now, if you don't have a pair of these, which on this occasion you might actually, you can just use a good old fashioned pair of rubber gloves. All you need to do is fold up the bottom half like so, so that the thumb is slightly hidden like this and you are good to go. Technique number one, open gloving. So I've got my gloves laid out in front of me here and just remember in the real world, I wouldn't have any nail polish on or any jewellery. So I guess I should maybe take these off because this is turning more into a what not to do as opposed to a what to do. So I've got my left hand in front of my left and my right in front of my right with both fingers facing forward. So I'm going to put on my right glove first. So I'm going to take my finger and forefinger and pinch the cuff of the right glove, sliding my fingers inside. I'm then going to pinch the cuff and tuck my right thumb. My right thumb is now safe and I can't accidentally catch it on anything while I'm putting on my left glove. Going to place these fingers on top of the left fingers. I'm just turning it so you can see. Pinch the cuff, sliding my fingers in, serial surface to serial surface. And because this thumb is covered, I can touch the matching sides enough to lift and place my left hand in. And that's my left glove on. I'm then just going to carry out the same mechanism, this left hand to right hand, sliding in, pulling over, keeping this left thumb out the way and pulling on. That's me, both gloves on and I am ready to go. Technique number two, close gloving. So for this, you'll need to pop on a hoodie eh, or a jumper. Um, and this is going to represent your surgical gown, um, which would be sterile and very clean. Um, you're going to have washed your hands and then when you put your surgical gown on, they will go, your hands will go into your gown and they will not come out. So your hands are now not going to see the light of day until the end of surgery. So I've got my packet here. I've opened them out. And this time the fingers are facing towards me and not away from me like they were in the open technique. Um, so I'm going to put the right glove on first, which in this case is actually along my left side. So I'm going to place my left hand on top of the fingers to allow me to properly grab the cuff of the right one. I'm going to flip that up and lie it flat. I'm going to pinch the cuff and pull it over in one hopefully sweeping, elegant notion. That glove is on. I'm then going to put the left glove on. So again, I'm going to pinch the cuff, flip it over, pinch the rim and pull it round and down. Now on this occasion, because I am wearing a surgical gown, I am actually able to fix these cuffs so that I'm more comfy before I carry out surgery. And now I'm ready. Where are the animal at?